It's where this guy is painting cave wall drawings. Just observe, try to see the shapes. Just observe different dark patches and what they might be drawing. A bit like, yeah, cave, cave wall drawings. A lot. In some cases, identical. Like that could be a depiction of an alien standing. Alien eyes. Right? Ships with lights in front of them. Dragons, whatever, different things. Crab-looking things. And then, like, stick people with funky... Yeah, like, one in the middle there, or two. I mean, everything is part of something else. The interconnectedness. But there's a lot of individual little stick fellows or whatever. So if you look... I'm going to switch now to the camera and then just show... Um, it's so interesting. a bit like the thing on the football field that I, the world's strangest animals it says, and it shows a shadow of this shape pretty much on the football field, kind of weird, silly perspective. That looks like a light radiating, a light beam, doesn't it? Like a flying saucer with a light going down like, you know, 60, 70 degrees. really, but kind of, yeah, yeah quite, actually quite a bit, like that would be the light emanating there from the center of the screen, going down to the right, <laughs> there, that was like what was on the football field, a lot, right there in the middle, now it's starting to look more like cave wall drawings. I'll um, just open the browser now. This should still be recording. When I open the browser and do cave. Those aren't aliens, I don't know what it is. Yeah, there's a lot of, there too, look at that. It's like a lot of things that I'm seeing, both in the foliage of trees at night, in my night photography, like they just look like shadowy, but always seem to have like eyes. So much that one. Yeah, a lot of this, yeah, yeah, a lot of this kind of stuff. That's what we're seeing right now in, in the sky. <laughs> what a fascinating. <laughs> adventure, discovery, action adventure, I'm on a real It's making life far more interesting. And playing along with what we've been told. I did question everything as a kid. So interesting. Like, I just didn't feel some things just didn't make sense. Mystic. 
having mystical experiences a lot. The shapes. I think aliens are coming back to teach us our real history. That's what's happening. So, if you think I'm crazy, maybe we're all, we were all in a trance of believing what we're told. And sadly, I actually do believe that everything like schools, churches, government, and media control everything we've ever been taught. And it's mostly not really true. They wouldn't have wanted us to be empowered with our true nature is that we're all mystical beings with like magic powers. And our pineal gland, I'm sure, pineal pineal is really calcified on purpose with things like fluoride and probably what's in our diets. And we don't eat the right foods and it's just all a big control. Taking your money and leaving you sick and dying. That looks a lot like a cave drawing in the middle, centered. Like, like all of this is. Like that dude. <laughs> See, who? I'm not. I'm brilliant. And I'm intuitive. And things are happening to me, towards me, for me. Uncovering a deeper purpose. Yay, because I was starting to wonder. Also, I realized yesterday I was saying something like, I used to say all the time, I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. And because that's not how it works. It took me 55 years to realize what I am. And I did a lot of shit that is not really for me. And I just felt I have a deeper purpose. Not, none of my jobs are like fulfilling because it's a game. It's like we work for the rich people and we <laughs> exhaust ourselves trying to make ends meet, trying to pay groceries, trying to pay rent for everyone else's benefit but ours and just barely make it, some of us. And if you were just barely making it and now your rent doubles and your food doubles, you're just like, work harder, work harder. It's like, no, we're supposed to look at our creativity and figuring out why we're here. That's the deeper truth. Can I get an amen in the sky? Oh my god, is it spelling amen? <laughs> no, that would be too funny. Sometimes I do look for spelling in the sky and it does look like stuff. Fascinating. I'll just stop moving it and leave it. Let you try to find. Well, it's kind of obvious. We'll switch back to the browser. Yeah, I saw something like that in the middle. The two eye thing like that too. The thing on the left there as well. Little branches and sticks there that in the dead center is a lot like the leap of faith branch I took the other night. <laughs> Boy, I should have been a sleuth, a detective. I would have been much better paid and much more happily retired. It's fascinating though, hey? Okay, what are other examples? The whole, yeah. yeah, things like that we've seen just in the sky just now, things like that. A little bit like my Leap of Faith guy, right there on the right edge. Wow. More. Yeah, there, all kinds of stuff like that, hey? I don't 
not see arrows necessarily, but... Wow, that looks like Leave of Faith guy, but he's got an arch and uh, whatever, bow and arrow. Yeah, there's stuff like that too. The things that look like little crosses in this sky might actually be like... see anything it's blinding it hurts the eyes and I can't see maybe towards the blue now I could it was just so blinding earlier I couldn't see it all look at that Figure. I also see in the foliage, um, yeah, between the leaves and branches. In my night photography, that end up looking like a lot of these shapes. More commonly, this kind of a shape. That guy looks like the thing I found on my desk that I call Alien Angel. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, but they twist it at the bottom. I just see this as synchronicities that I am making the right decisions and choices and following the right interest for me and it's working out. And it's like divinely inspired. So you don't need to know what you're going to do when you grow up. You have to grow up first to know what you are. That's part of it. If you figure that out early, good for you. But it took me 55 years. But I was sort of on the right track in my interest in things like numerology and astrology and the cosmos. And but those things are discouraged, and, and it's just the way it was in the 80s. Actually, they look like double helix it's to teach us about our genetic coding and make us realize the truth about like chromosome number two being mechanically fused or 
or someone's experiment, as it turns out. Another being. I don't know what implications it has for religions or how you make it fit if you need to make it fit. I'm just like a truth seeker. But I could say that all, all of that, plus us, plus everything that ever was or will be, all the universes, it's, that's God. That we are God. That it's not external to yourself. The whole premise of addiction recovery, for example, is, you know, believe in that thing greater than yourself. It's like, no, it's to realize that you are part of God, though if you are greater than you specifically to have your issues and deal with them and work hard and not subscribe to what other people tell you because we're all part of God we all have divinity within us and our solutions built in we live in a bit of a cruel world that's just out to make a buck off of us and we're not fed properly Everything in the middle aisles in the grocery stores you can skip. It's bad for you. Everything. <laughs> I even theorize about sugar and carbs that are being the leading cause of cancer, like the true cause of it. One doctor describes it as type 5 diabetes is cancer. Look at all the bright specks. This is like daytime, it's 1 p.m. and sunny. Well, partly sunny, partly cloudy. I don't know if there's lots of little. Seems to be like a streak there or something. Look at that, that's interesting. A helicopter in there, perhaps, in the middle. Or maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I can hear a helicopter. They circle a lot when there's something interesting in the sky. And I'm usually out there with my camera, and of course there's choppers and planes circling all the time. Well, there you go. remember having the ability to fly, which these things are teaching us, might be something that we were once able to do. We're created in their image. Heck, maybe our tailbone is not really from a tail, like a, a monkey's tail, maybe it was where wings once attached <laughs> who knows i've heard some people say that yes we did have wings at one point who knows anything's possible if you can imagine it likely it's been done or is possible and that there's no such thing as a new idea everything always existed Then maybe something happened to the planet, and then they started over and with oil and gas, not wanting people to know the truth. There's all kinds of stuff going on, and I'm learning, so I don't know anything for sure. But I'd be speculating on what I learned. And hear others talk that would have sounded shocking to me before, but now it's like, oh, well, that makes sense. giraffe. <laughs> it's 
so cool. Looks like the shape of the vein in my forehead now. Very interesting thing there going on too. That's a common shape in the middle. A bit like a cone. Which I even see in my brother's photography, this owl picture he has. That looks like a dolphin in the middle. An alien playing guitar, perhaps. <laughs> it's me. Birds. Mermaids, maybe you can see anything your imagination is open to. But it helps to see like those cave paintings and stuff. There's a good sample of all that, so I'm not full of crap, and it's not a side effect from you know, drugs and crap like that. It's, I have a vision, and if anything, drugs help open up the brain, not shut it, and that's probably why the ego stay open. No, apart from being really bad for you, some of them. Not all of them. Some of them do lead to spiritual enlightenment which they don't want you. They want you to go to church and have the fear of God in you, which is really to fear them so they stay in control. I think that's the truth of any religion, organized religion that takes your money and lets the world go on starving and lets the world go on charging astronomical prices for the healthier foods like meat and then they tell you it's bad for you. And it's not. It's not. It's really good for you. And you need to cut out a lot of other stuff. I just know truths now because of my mystical intuition lights up and I feel something when I learn something new. It's either an aha moment or it's not. And there's a lot of ahas that are outrageous and most people wouldn't believe, and I just know it's true. So I'm sorry to differ. my attitude before, but now I'm happier to own the gifts I have. Wow, this is cool. Alright. Seems to be calming down. It's bright patch. I was going to take my phone to just load up the sky view and see where is the sun, where is everything right now, just to see if that even makes sense. Um, no, there's no sun, where is the sun?
and this is a live of this guy right now. Right here on Wilson Street in the West End. Ink art, <clears throat> and it's when you zoom in at the sky. And people just think I'm weird. They they stop and they look at the camera like I'm rude. I'm smiling. And people say no. I'm noticing and uncovering secrets of the universe. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm not gonna be rude. I know that people assume all the time. They're gonna just make asses of themselves, not me. I'm learning truth. not where the sun is. The sun is the brightest area on the left. It's just quite bright, whatever it is. to know these shapes and recognize them through different things like alien hunter videos that randomly came on and like hey that looks like the same shape I, that showed up in this picture and then I start to investigate and then they just keep showing up in various places it's like um, a treasure hunt almost hunt for the truth and I've been gifted with all this stuff happening why? Probably because I didn't have anything else going on, and I've got true mystic endowment, I guess. And my pineal gland, for some reason, is not covered or fully calcified.
sure that similar shapes are out there. That's so neat. like a bumblebee in the middle. More double helix-ish kind of stuff. Yeah, we're going to learn more about our genetic coding and programming that's in it. And that also they act like antenna.